Hey, what's up? My name is Reggie Bryant, and this channel is all about personal finance and personal growth, where I show you how to save money and make more money, all while bettering yourself every single day. Let's get into this video. Financial freedom is a concept a lot of us have a hard time wrapping our heads around. It's something that very few people are able to achieve within their lifetimes, yet it's within arm's reach, and every day that goes by, several people become financially free. But I think everyone has a different idea of what financial freedom is. So for the sake of this video, I'm talking about early retirement. And when I say early retirement, I'm not just talking about never working another day in your life or sitting on the beach all day or just sitting around not doing nothing. I'm talking about being able to live life completely on your own terms without having to rely on waking up at a specific time, going to a specific place and spending a set amount of time doing something that you're not even passionate about. And for a lot of you, the place that I'm describing is your job. And if I am, I want you to think about this one thing throughout this entire video. What would your life look like if money wasn't a factor? Think about what you would do, where you'd go, who you'd spend your time with, and most importantly, how happy you would be. And if nothing else, if you're like me and you have one of the coolest jobs in the world, or if you just really like your job, think about the peace of mind you would have just knowing that if anything ever goes south, you have full control of your finances. So, I've given you a lot to think about. Now let me show you how to get there. There's actually three simple steps to financial freedom, but I want to be very clear up front about these. These steps I'm about to go over right now are not easy. If they were, every single person you hear complaining about their jobs would stop coming in to work tomorrow because they just woke up one day and decided they were going to be financially free. It doesn't work that way. So the first step of achieving financial freedom is getting good with your money, which I've already made a video about. So if you want to check that out and learn more about it, I'll have it linked in the description. But just to give you a layout on what it looks like to be good with your money, you'll need to focus on a few things. Understand how your money flows, which basically means you know exactly what's going in and out of your bank account every month and exactly why. These are the humble beginnings that no one wants to talk about. And even I find this part boring and I'm a nerd. But it's just part of this elaborate plan to becoming financially free, so it's just something we'll have to deal with for now, I guess. You've also got to set some goals for yourself, and some common goals are getting debt-free, saving up $10,000 for your emergency fund, or making six figures for the first time. These are great places to start, and these exact goals were actually what my goals were four years ago. And the great thing about setting goals for yourself is the fact that you can change them at any time. And I say that because, bro... My goals have drastically changed over the years and they're way more ambitious now. But with more ambitious goals, you have to match that energy with what you do. You've gotta be hungry, you gotta put the time and effort in because no one's just gonna fall out of the sky and achieve all your goals for you. But if that does happen to you, you, you come and let me know, all right? Hook your boy up. In short, be able to handle the money you make right now. Be able to save a decent amount of it on a consistent basis and be able to plan out your financial future years in advance because if you don't, you'll find yourself getting comfortable and when you get comfortable, your money gets stagnant. I've got comfortable in my financial journey before and I'll tell you from experience, that level of comfort is very hard to get out of. So even if you find yourself getting comfortable, even if you're comfortable right now, ask yourself if you can afford to miss one paycheck. How about two? If you answered no to either of those questions, then there you have it. There's no room for being comfortable. And check this out, before I get to the next step, I want to tell you something very important that you need to keep in mind. It's easy to make excuses. There's a million and one things holding you back from the life that you want. Your dream vacation, the time you've always wanted to spend with your family, the options, everything you've ever wanted to do has a barrier in front of it that only you can knock down. You can either tell yourself it's too hard and give up, or you can prove to yourself that you can do it while having the willingness to fall on your face in the process. One of those choices will have you regretting your decision, and it's up to you to decide which risk you're willing to take, regret or financial freedom. I've made my choice a long time ago, and as a fighter, a go-getter, and an achiever, I will achieve financial freedom. And if you're with me on that, check this out. I say all of that because the next step is huge, and you really have to know what you're made of because of the time, effort, and mental capacity that this part takes, and that's figuring out how to make more money. Without making more money, financial freedom can take like a century longer than you want it to, and that completely destroys the purpose of financial freedom in early retirement. Traditionally, we're supposed to work for 40 years and then live off the money that we have saved and invested throughout the years, but there's two problems with that. One, most of us are going to outlive our retirement money. And two, even for those of us who did everything right, that money only affords us the opportunity to live the life that we're already living right now. Or in a lot of cases, it'll require us to be extremely frugal with our money after retirement just so we can survive. To me, that's just no way to live and it's also the bare minimum. Money is so inflated now that the days we would work a traditional job without having any other form of income while being able to retire without a care in the world, those days are gone. 
Right now, one of the most dangerous things you can do is rely on one stream of income. Doesn't matter if you have a top tier job that makes you six figures a year. Doesn't matter how comfortable you are. Doesn't matter how many degrees you have. If you only have one stream of income and someone or something cuts that stream of income, you will be looking sick. You know why? This is my favorite analogy right here. There's not a big difference between money and oxygen. You absolutely need both of them to live. You have plenty of air, so you don't even have to think about breathing, but check this out. Money is just as abundant as air, but a lot of us just don't know how to get to a point in life where our money flows to us abundantly. So I'm going to break it down for you because what needs to be understood is how to make more money in the first place. Now there's levels to making more money. So first off, you have active income, which most of us are used to trading time for money. But then we have this almost unheard of, seemingly impossible way to earn more money, and that's passive income. Both are good, but in my humble opinion, passive income is where you want to be because in my experience, there's no better feeling than making money in your sleep. Now I'm going to take this time right here to show you just how easy it can be to make more money, both active and passive income. And I've done both of them and I'm even doing them both right now. So check me out. Now I'm going to take this time right here to show you just how easy it can be to make more money with both active and passive income because I've done both of them and I'm even doing them both right now. So check me out. Making more money is going to boil down to two things, helping other people get what they want and solving problems. And when you can do those two things consistently enough, you will make money. Now I get that might sound kind of general and vague, so of course I'm gonna give you some examples. So something I like to do is work out. And every now and then I might get a DM on Instagram from somebody or somebody might call me up and say, hey, what's your workout routine? And this happened a lot when I was in college. But what that ended up turning into was people asking me to make specific workout routines for them. And they asked me just like this, how much do you charge for making custom workout plans? Not even kidding, this just happened to me recently, so I put some time in and I put in some work to create a custom workout plan to meet the specific goals of someone. And that goal was to tone up and build lean muscle and that was easy for me, so I put it together and I got paid for it. You see, I have a skill that helps other people get what they want and through that skill, I can help them solve problems that they couldn't necessarily figure out themselves. Let me give you another example, bro. I used to help family members and neighbors do yard work all the time, because let's keep it real. Nobody wants to be out here in the hot sun cutting grass, cutting weeds, and washing cars. Cars. Ain't nobody trying to be doing all of that. I'm sure everybody would rather be in the house sipping on that good old sweet tea, you know what I'm talking about, with the AC on. So if you could pay something like 20 to $40 for someone to do the work for you so you can spend time doing what you enjoy, people would pay that price. Again, giving people what they want and solving that problem is very basic and simple. And of course, this is at a smaller scale. But the way you turn this smaller scale into a larger scale is you charge more. So instead of charging $20, you're charging $50 an hour. And as you improve your skill set, you can command more money because your experience and your expertise can do much more than just give people what they want and solve a problem because you're cold. You know what that does? It gives you a sense of knowing your worth and it gives you an abundance mindset, which is basically that take it or leave it mentality. You ever gone somewhere and got charged an arm and a leg for a service? I mean, think about a time where you needed a haircut or a time where you needed to get car maintenance done. Maybe you've needed to work with a personal trainer at the gym. I mean, really think about this. Think about anything, manicures, pedicures. Am I right, ladies and gentlemen? Now, I don't care who you are. You've been through at least one of those scenarios before. I don't even try to flex through that other side of the screen. I see you over there trying to act like you, you, you know you good and well you've been through one of those scenarios before. I know I have. And you might look at the prices like $60, $100, what? $1,000. But I guarantee you they didn't budge on their prices. You might have a bad clog right now. And if you don't know how to fix it, you'll need a plumber. Let me tell you something about plumbers. They don't mess around with their prices. You get what I'm saying? You mess around and choose not to pay that price if you want to, but you probably won't get what you want either. So it's take it or leave it. And over the time of getting to know your worth, you'll understand that you've become so cold and so valuable that people need your skill more than you actually need their money. And I know that might sound hard to believe, so I'm going to illustrate that with the next big thing I'm going to talk to you about, and that's passive income. This is the most valuable type of income you can possibly get because it doesn't require your presence and it doesn't require you to do anything once you put the work in. It's a type of income that can outlive you and last generations, but in order to get there, you have to start out small. Passive income is very hard to achieve, but the concept is simple. Add value, solve problems, help people get what they want, wash, rinse, repeat without stopping. The problem is the without stopping part. Which is why I honestly believe if you're aiming for passive income, whatever you're doing to achieve your passive income goal should be something you're so passionate about that it should light a fire within your soul to get up and do it every single day and improve. I'm talking about even when it seems like you'll never earn a dime doing this, you've got to keep going. You know what I'm saying? That's the kind of relentlessness you've got to have with this. This ain't for the faint of heart. You've really got to be about something if you're going to make this happen. I'm just saying. 
Just to put that into perspective, at the time of this recording, my passive income is small right now. The time I put in does not match what I'm making in passive income every month, yet. You've got to be okay with that because I'm completely comfortable knowing that I haven't put in the total amount of time and work in to make that income explosive yet. I'm averaging at about $400 a month in passive income right now and I'm thankful for it. I'm just glad I get to add value to multiple people at once. And with this, the proof is in the pudding, as they say, because I get comments, DMs, and emails from you guys saying that you're getting value out of the videos I make here on YouTube. Knowing that I'm able to help people understand money by giving a unique perspective and being relatable is something that I'm really passionate about. Because this channel is so much bigger than financial education and personal growth. This channel is about breaking generational curses and stopping financial mistakes before they even start. And this is through the lens of a person who has learned from not only their own mistakes, but also through the mistakes of others. And so with that said, I'm good with the money I'm making. Here's something else to think about. It might be like that for you too, and you've got to ask yourself, can I handle that? And a good rule of thumb for me is this. If you're really passionate about something, you'll do it for free. If you end up getting in front of a camera and recording a video, or sitting down and writing a book, or creating an online course, and all you can think about is where's my check, you're in the wrong place, bro. By the way, all those create passive income. You've got to be willing to accept the risk that comes with it. Every time I post a video on YouTube, I accept the risk that the video might completely flop. I accept the risk that people might not like my video. You've got to look at risk in the face and say, I'm not scared of you. And on the other side of that risk is the reward you've always dreamed of. Now, before I get too deep and philosophical about that stuff, I want you to understand the right way to think about passive income, or at least this is how I think about passive income. I look at this as a supplement to my full-time income. So on top of what I'm making at work and everything else, this is money that just goes on top of that and it comes no matter what. And here's the crazy thing about that $400 a month. That's exactly how much I was making six years ago when I started my first part-time job. And that was doing something I hated. So maybe I'm just weird, but the way I look at money now is the same way I looked at money then. And what I mean by that is this. Knowing that I make the same amount of money I used to make on my part-time job in addition to my full-time job makes me really think like, man, I'm starting to build wealth because it's not like I'm going somewhere after work and clocking in to get that extra money. I'm doing something that I love completely on my own terms that can pay me several years into the future. You get what I'm saying? So once I hit $800 a month and $1,200 a month in YouTube ad revenue, I'll take a mental note. All right, cool, now I'm making double what I made in my part-time job. Cool, now I'm making triple that on top of my full-time salary at work. Then my next goal would be to make as much as I made at my first internship when I was 20 years old, which is $3,400 a month. Then my goal would be to match my first year of income at my first ever full-time job, which was $65,000 a year. Then I would take that number and scale it up and up until I'm eventually able to double and triple that. And I'm doing well financially, but I'm just not satisfied. I'm still hungry for results, success, and financial freedom. And you know what? Sometimes it doesn't even feel like I'm working. It just feels like I'm sitting down talking to a friend, giving financial advice based off of my own life experiences, as well as what I've applied in my own life. So it's becoming a business. And just like I said in my last video, I'm building a website right now that's going to open up my financial coaching services, where I mainly focus on showing you how to save money and make more money. Because over the years, it's something I've gotten good at. And I've always been good at teaching and walking people through things, especially when it's a concept that most people find hard to wrap their heads around. So the way I'm bringing everything into full circle is this. I'm treating my YouTube channel like a business. It's a little baby money machine right now. And when anything is in its infancy, it's important to constantly feed it so it can grow and eventually take care of itself. Otherwise, it'll starve. So the way I continue to feed it is by uploading valuable content that you guys like to see while injecting my experiences and personality into every single video to make your viewer experience as enjoyable as possible. And in my description box, I always have other videos linked that are about similar topics that I think you'll be interested in. And once my website's up, you'll see link in my description about my coaching services. By the way, I have a limited time free service where you can ask me a question. We can talk one-on-one -on -one about a financial topic of your choice. So be on the lookout for that. But of course, I'll also have paid coaching services in addition to my online courses. That's going to go super in depth. And with some of these conversations that we have, I think some of them are going to be so valuable and so helpful that they'll need to be shared with the world. And with your permission or whoever I'm sitting down with in a one-on-one -on -one session, I might ask to take out a portion of that. I might ask to take a portion of the meeting and put it on YouTube or even on Patreon, depending on how in-depth it is. Either way, it'll be premium content. But if you don't want to deal with any of that and you just want to kick back and watch my free content, that's cool too. I'm always going to be posting on YouTube every week. So my goal is to have every part of my business revolving around each other at all times. That's my playbook right now and I'm no business tycoon or expert or anything like that. 
I'm just a guy who made some success in making extra money and active and passive income. And all I'm doing is fusing the two together in such a way that I think will add the most value to you guys. That's my contribution to society and I only plan to continue to grow my platform. By the way, feel free to hit me up on Instagram or through email if you have a question or if you just want to hear me talk about a certain topic, you can send those ideas to me. I'm all for new ideas. But before I get too far off topic, let's talk about this. The last step to creating financial freedom. Are you ready? Invest. I know that's only one word and it sounds like a very simple concept, but it's something you got to be extremely intentional about. I know that's only one word and it may sound like a simple concept, but it's something you'll need to be extremely intentional about. So real quick, everything I just talked about in the last step, which was making more money, that stuff can take you years to do, like two to five years to do. And that's even if you're dedicated. So the idea is you'll be making a lot of extra money at this point to be able to invest a lot of it. Just to be clear, I'm talking about two types of investments. One is reinvesting the money that you made in step two back into your business side hustle or whatever you want to call it. And two is investing in the stock market. The best way I can explain it to you is this. Let's say I'm making $5,000 a month in my business in addition to what I'm making at work, which is a lot of money. Knowing that I wouldn't have the extra $5,000 a month if it weren't for my business tells me that I need to be careful and very smart with what I do with that extra money. So I would set aside some of it for taxes, which in my case would be like 15.7%, or at least that's what the CPA told me. But anyway, another portion of that would go into my savings, and I'll put a good 33% into the stock market and another 33% back into the business. So that leaves like 18 point something percent for savings. That's not including the fact that I invest some of my work income into the stock market as well. So imagine this, and this is the last thing I'm going to say before I let you go. Imagine investing back into your business, and I say business because I really do believe that it's the strongest way to multiply your income. Investing back into your business can help your business continue to grow. And as you continue to reinvest in your business, it keeps growing and growing and growing until eventually you see sustainable growth. And no matter what you do, whether you stop investing or you keep investing, you still see that very steady growth. Then you can decide, you know what, that 33% that I'm putting back into the business, now I'm going to put it back into the stock market. Then you can make the decision if you want to put that 33% you're putting back into your business into the stock market. And if you do, you'll be putting $3,300 a month into the stock market because that's 66% of $5,000. Imagine your income continues to grow, so you're investing more and more money into stocks that grow. And I'm talking about companies with strong reputations for the last 40, 50, 60 years. Companies that have more than tripled their stock value in the last five years. Companies that pay dividends. I have a whole video breaking that down. You can check it out after this if you want to learn more about the how-to when it comes to investing. But here's all the math you need to do in order to figure out how much money you need to be financially free. Multiply your yearly expenses by the amount of years you don't want to have to worry about anything. Some of us want to take a few years off of work, travel, and do all kinds of stuff. That's temporary financial freedom. But if you do go for temporary financial freedom, I would recommend you multiply your expenses by five to 10 years. But if you're serious and you want permanent financial freedom to the point where it creates generational wealth, this is what you need to do. This is where you take your yearly income and multiply it by 25. There's this rule called the 4% rule where you can take 4% from your investments and not have to worry about disrupting the principal or anything like that. That's big boy stuff. And for you ladies watching, that's big girl stuff. You know what I'm saying? Can't forget about y'all. But chances are you won't be able to achieve that with just one stream of income. All the stuff I went over in this video is doable. Every single one of you can do it if you're dedicated enough. And part of my purpose for creating this channel is showing you my financial journey and my path to financial freedom in real time. The process is simple, but it isn't easy. So if you want to achieve financial freedom, follow these steps and you will get there. Anyways, that's the video for today. Thank you so much for watching. My name is Reggie Bryant, and this channel is all about personal finance and personal growth so you can control you, control your finances, and control your life. Don't forget to subscribe if you like this video. I will see you in the next one. Stay cold.